to five minutes of Finney. Off the back of my blog on what makes a brewer, I decided to do an interview with McKill from McKiller on um, his opinions on the subject, since Jean from Oderleimek um, specifically targeted him um, in his discussion at a uh, European Beer Bloggers Conference. So I kind of just wanted to get his opinions on, on, the, on the subject and uh, see what he really thought about the whole thing. So what follows is my co interview conversation with Mikkel. So um, you started the brewery back in 2006, correct? Yeah. Okay. And um, since then you don't really have like a, you're an actual brewery you, you in, until I guess, like, I guess you're starting one in 2015, um, correct? You just bought um, Ale House? Basement. Ale Smith, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in, in San Diego. Okay. Perfect. So you've just been, um, I guess, working with different breweries um, to collaborate on beers. Yeah, and we still will do that. Okay. Yeah. So I guess this kind of just came about by um, uh, a thing that Gene Hummler in uh, Motor Lambic said about um, brewers and his definition of a brewer. So I just want to kind of get your opinion on what a definition of, of a brewer is. Of a brewer? Yeah. <laughs> a brewer is, I don't know, it's a, uh, I, guess, I guess if you look at it, it's somebody that, that works in a brewery. Yeah. That works with brewing beer. Um, and uh, I, I've heard, I've heard, uh, I've heard similar talk as, as young comes to it that if you're not if you're not actual brewing you're not a brewer and I mean first of all it, I, I don't know if, if I'm mentioned in that sentence but first of all I've never called myself a brewer mm. uh, so I'm somebody who makes beer yeah and um, I mean but there are a lot of so-called brewers around the world today that are pretty much never in the brewery I mean take a guy like pretty much one of the most famous ones uh, Gerald Oliver of Brooklyn Brewery okay I mean, if, if, if you ask him how many days do you spend actually brewing in the brewery, I'm pretty sure he will say close to uh, a lot of tastings and a lot of dinners and a lot of talking about beer. But actual brewing is, is not a thing that, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I have, I have two brewers at my brew pub and they're very, very good brewers and yeah. they're probably, probably better brewers than I am in, a, or they are better brewers than I am in a brewery. Uh, oh, okay. So it would make no sense for me to go down there and start brewing and, and, and push them to the side. Yeah. Do you think it's important for a brewer to own their own brewery? Uh, it's not important for somebody who makes beer. Uh, yeah. And it's not important for a brewer as well. I mean, it, like it's not important for a clothing designer to own his own factory that makes the actual clothes. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can be in Europe designing clothes and then you can have somebody in Hong Kong uh, do do all the all the, the the practical work and and it's it's a global world and that's how things work today. Um, there are a lot of industries where being the one that is that kind of creates is not the same person that actually do the that do the actual uh, physical work. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's fine. I mean, it's uh, for me. It's if if I. First of all, if, if I had to brew all my all the beers myself, I would have to have at least a hundred hours in a day because <laughs> that's impossible. Yeah. Second of all, it gives me the freedom to do what I'm good at, um, and it gives my brewers the freedom to do what they're good at. They, I mean, for example, the brewer we, we work with in Belgium, the Prof, mm -hmm. he's he's a very 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 pretty much the most skilled technical brewer in the world, in my yeah. opinion. But he's not very happy about doing recipes, and he's he doesn't want to sell beer, and he doesn't want to want to be creative. Okay. Uh, he wants to make the best possible products from the stuff that I gave him, which is recipes and ideas, and and we collaborate on that. And I think that's the perfect way of making. I mean, that that's pretty much the ideal way of making beer or things in the world to to, to collaborate with people that that are better than yourself in what they do. Yeah. Yeah. So to have like a person who knows what they're doing as far as making the recipes and coming up with the ideas and then have a person who's yeah. a good technical brewer and able yeah. to able to come up with those or actually put those recipes, you know, into play. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's the same with, with, with you take Sean, 
uh, Homla from uh, from Olympic, as, as you mentioned. I mean, in my opinion, he he owns bars. Yeah. But I've never seen him in behind the bar serving the guests. I've been to his bars many times. <laughs> I've never once been served by him. Um, yeah. And I, I think the reason for that, I think, is that he knows that his his time and his skills are better at other places, managing the bar, yeah, yeah. doing the accounts and stuff, and, and getting the beer and talking to brewers. And and then he has good bartenders that know a lot about service and know a lot about beer and know a lot about talking to guests. And I think that's perfect. He, he found good ways of collaborating with other people as well and and became better at what he's doing, yeah. I think. And it's it's the same. I think it's the exact same thing with 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 brewing. Um, that that find some. I mean, Michaela is a, is a fairly big company now. Uh, I have a lot of employees, and and obviously brewing is not what I spend the most time on anymore because it's it's not possible for me. I, yeah. I have I spend time on creating stuff, and we have make we have bars and we have restaurants, and so yeah. Yeah, so what is your plan then with the Alesmith, just to have another site to brew beer? Or Actually, the plan for Ace, uh, for the Alesmith brewery, that it's, it's, we, we obviously didn't buy the Alesmith brand, it's only yeah. the, the, no, the yeah. actual exactly. brewery, uh, is to brew beer for the American market. So okay. it's not going to change anything in Europe. We are still going to do the exact same, obviously it's going to do as much beer as we do now uh, in Europe at the Prof and Lerwig and all the other places. We also going to brew. We also brew at other places in the states. We're not going to change that. It's it's just going to be an addition to what we do already, because we we have a we have a fairly good name in the states, yeah. uh, and and it's hard for us to to fulfill what we would like to fulfill in the states, not having a brewery, because the beer becomes a lot more expensive when shipped from Europe. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. And it becomes less fresh. So the, the purpose of Aismith is actually to have a place where we can produce beer locally for the local market. Okay. And as much as we can sell in, in California as possible, the, the better it is. And again, I, I won't move to California. I'll, I'll, we, we hired a, a, an extremely good brewer and we hired a great uh, yeah. manager. And, and he's going to do, they're going to they're gonna work and, and brew the, the recipes that I make. Um, so it's going to be the exact same as when we brew at the Pole or when I brew at Warpix or brew okay. at somewhere else makes sense yeah yeah so I guess as far as you can continue doing collaborations and whatnot um, with different brewers over there and then over here as well yeah of course I mean we'll, we'll work with I mean that's what I, actually what I love most about being in the beer industry is, is working with people is collaborating with people and meeting people and, and getting ideas from people and 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 going to bars and, and, and tasting other other brewery beers and it's uh, that's what I love about it and that's what gives me inspiration. Okay. I honestly don't get a lot of inspiration being in a brewery looking at, at steel sands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so do you have anything interesting coming in the works as far as beers? We have a lot all the time. We, <laughs> lot, we do a lot. Of, we do a lot of new beers, and it and it's it's. I mean, there's there's still so many things that you can explore. And I mean, we work a lot on on our spin change from fancy beers at the moment. Uh, yeah. And we work a lot. We work on a new restaurant in Copenhagen where we'll do we'll we'll do and serve beers in a little different way than we have done so far, which will be interesting as well. Um. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, pretty much all I had. I just wanted to get your opinion on brewing and being a brewer. Thanks so much. Yeah, I appreciate thanks. it. So that's all. Um, I would like to thank Mikael so much for um, taking the time out of his busy schedule to do the interview with me and to share his opinions on the topic. It was interesting to get a different perspective on the matter and to find that he did not think it was that important for him to consider himself a brewer. Um, at the state and that he had, um, you know, more important things that he was, you know, focusing on in his day-to-day -day operations and that he has great head brewers that he's working with and it's more important for him to be designing the beers and really focusing on that and the other parts of operations. So I think it offers a different perspective that I didn't really think of before, which, you know, is kind of enlightening almost. Um, so I think almost the terms are almost just semantics kind of sometimes. And 
it is more important to realize that a lot of the bigger breweries had originally started with maybe the owner doing the brewing and now that's not really the case and the more important thing is to really look at what the products are coming out of there, um, if they're continu continuing the quality, the innovation that you want to see, and if you like the beers, and I am enjoying the Mickler beers. Um, I like them. I've liked a lot of their beers, and I can, you know, continue to drink them while they're all good, and they continue to be so far. So, um, yeah, I was interested. It was a very interesting interview, and. Um, Definitely changed, you know, my opinion on the whole thing. Uh, so, that's it for me. Please like, share, subscribe, comment what you think. And, um, that's all. Cheers, all.